We are unfortunately seeing rising levels of colon cancer in millennials, particularly 20 to 30 year olds. There's data from the American Cancer Society that suggests that the rate of colon cancer diagnoses uh, increased anywhere from 1 to 2 percent per year through the year 2013 in that age group. I think important preventive measures from a colon cancer standpoint are to pay attention to your body. Unfortunately, not all colon cancers give us symptoms, but those that do, um, patients should be encouraged to pay attention to those symptoms and to take them seriously, to talk with their doctor about things that don't seem right about their body, and to also understand and know their own family history. Important symptoms to look for for colon cancer would be rectal bleeding, abdominal pain, change in weight, uh, difficulty with bowel movements that's new, that could mean either new constipation or new diarrhea, uh, a sense of bloating or change in appetite. Any of these symptoms should at least trigger a discussion with your doctor. If you have a family member who's had colon cancer, experts are recommending that you have your first colonoscopy 10 years prior to the age at which your family member was diagnosed with cancer. The thought is that it takes time for cancers to develop and this allows us an opportunity to hopefully intervene and prevent cancer from developing in you. In colon cancer, our advantage is that we can identify polyps which are precancerous, remove them and prevent them from developing a cancer. We're all wondering why younger patients are getting cancer at, uh, at this rate, and none of us are totally sure. Like, like we thought about, there may be some genetic components that are not well understood that are allowing these patients to present earlier. We are considering environmental factors, dietary factors, to wonder if this is something specific to our part of the country, our part of the world versus other areas, but really this is something that's still an ongoing investigation.